welcome to another video. I'm at a very familiar place. Over there is Graham's tree, but I'm trying to do something different. I was here only a few days ago. I was up there taking my usual composition, that side of the tree, looking out towards Ingleborough. This time I've come to the edge of the limestone, looking to try and get something different. Uh, I'll tell you one thing, the sky hasn't disappointed. We're here for sunset. We've got an hour and a half maybe to go, but we're getting light rays. The God rays are just coming down through the clouds. And we've got these lovely little yellow flowers. I'm facing Ingleborough, but I'll be honest with you, you wouldn't know it. It's uh, suddenly completely disappeared by clouds. It's completely hidden. Uh, we've got Pennigan over to my right hand side as well. Uh, the nondescript peak of Wernside. So all three of the Yorkshire peaks are all visible from here. Uh, to me, it's one of the reasons why it's such a special place. Uh, easily accessible, absolutely love it. So yeah, join me. Let's see what we can make of this, this location. So the shot I've ended up with, or the composition I've ended up with, is with this little little clump of these, I, don't, I actually don't know what they're called, little yellow flowers, I think that might be the official name, I'll have to look it up. Um, got a little clump in the foreground, I'm really close, I don't think there's uh, any aperture that's going to get front to back sharpness here, so yeah, I'm afraid this is uh, this is going to definitely be one of my trademark focus stacks, I don't think there's any way, way around it. I'm at f13 at the moment, I could probably close it down a bit, but all I'm going to gain is a, a few, a couple more feet of of uh, in sharp focal plane so there's no point I'm, I'll, I'll stick at that it's a nice it's relatively sharp on this lens and i'll just uh, i'll just stack the images uh, the clouds are stunning and i'm just yeah just waiting the light rays have now actually died off but yeah i think now the waiting game is either just enjoy the enjoy the texture in the skies or, or wait for that sunset and we'll see what happens uh, i'm hoping the cloud lifts on off ingleborough because it, it just makes a really nice uh, subject in the background just having that peak it's quite a, it's quite a distinctive tabletop flat flat peak uh, so yeah if they just lift a little bit and of course if they lift and they lift away from the horizon yeah then the sun's going to get through and those clouds are going to absolutely light up it's going to all kick off so yeah we'll just we'll just keep plugging away <laughs> back in uh, slightly more familiar territory and back uh, at this side of Graham Stream uh, where I'd normally take pictures from. Facing the sunset which oh, is teasing us. We keep getting these odd oranges and reds. It's just breaking through the cloud uh, and just every, every time I get my camera out and uh, every time I get focused and I get myself ready to take a good shot or, or I bring my drone down because I'm busy flying it, yeah it gets snuffed out again. You think that's it, you think it's going to end it breaks again and we get some more colour. So, yep, we're playing that waiting game. Uh, the landscape photographer's waiting game. Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest, over my shoulder, dynamic range on this camera's not brilliant, so um, I'm not sure you'll be able to see. I'm probably fairly well exposed, but the sky's probably just a white out. But, uh, I'll get some other shots. I'll take some video facing the other way and see, see if I can show you just uh, what we're talking about with the colour. As a composition, it's uh, the tried and tested. I'm fairly low to the ground. I've got the limestone, 
Uh, if, you, if, you, if you're not from Yorkshire, I've not heard the terms. The flat slab surfaces, they're called clints, and the gaps in between, the real ankle breakers, they're called grikes. Um, where we were up earlier at Ribblehead, they were, they were, a, they were a good uh, six foot, maybe eight foot deep here. Yeah, you might not break a leg, but you would break an ankle. We're talking one, two, three feet deep. Yeah, you've got to be careful on limestone. It's my usual composition. I've got Graham's tree there. Background, well, normally I'd be, normally I'd be looking at Ingleborough, but that's snuffed out by the clouds, as I, heard, I mentioned earlier. So it is all about that sky. Will it or will it happen? Well, as I'm speaking to you, I think it might be happening. Oh. Okay, I'm going to concentrate on that. I'll spin round, concentrate on taking the shots. Uh, if they're any good, yeah, it's the usual drill. I'll put them up now. Yeah, hope you enjoy. I reckon that's the last of the light. Uh, the sun's gone down now. Still plenty of texture in the clouds, but I, we're not getting any more colour. I think that's uh, just about it. Uh, it's been a long day. Uh, I mentioned I've been out with Dave Peck and he's been up since sunrise. Uh, more fool him, uh, I were at work. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, it's been a really enjoyable day, really enjoyable trip. I've shown him the sights. I've shown him some, uh, some of the, certainly uh, uh, sort of the, the Southern Yorkshire Dale's greatest hits. He uh, seems to have enjoyed it. So, yeah, with that, I'll uh, sign off and uh, until next time, I'll see you there.